what's up everyone my name is Jeff and today we're going to have some fun playing magic and today we are playing some Delina wild mage with Finn the fang bear I wanted to try to see if this could work if we could roll well enough to make enough copies of Finn the fang bear that anytime that one of them hits it's like 10 poison counters all by itself like that's the dream the ultimate dream is you get five of them one of them hits in the, guy, the person's just dead but even if we just have a few of them hit the battlefield with delena's ability of whenever it attacks him create a copy of a creature except that it isn't legendary and then if you roll 15 to 20 then you create you do that again you roll again and then hopefully get 15 20 or higher or whatever keep going 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 for us we're going to be playing a little bit on the side of chance and just hope that things kind of work out for us i only have bard class because i'm not playing into blue if you're going to play blue you would most likely want to go for the fairy creature anyway and so we are using bard class to try to help the odds to try to help us roll more often to try to get as many fin the fang bears on the battlefield as we can with that at the same time though we are also playing a bard class deck and just ramping up to things i wanted to be able to play delana on turn three if possible play finn on turn two delana on turn three or something like that so that we could have the best odds of uh you know winning with it you know getting out there a little quicker so bard class lets it be a little bit cheaper uh, as well as Finn the Thing Bear, Jesper, Sentinel being able to play a little bit quicker for us. And then also I wanted to see how well using just uh snowlands and frostbite and blizzard brawl and a and a gruel deck could be as our best, like our main pieces of removal. And I'm actually pretty hyped for it. I think it'd actually be pretty good. I, I ended up taking down a couple of them to add in Prosperous Innkeeper just because I wanted to again have that extra chance of getting out Delana a little bit quicker. Uh playing this out is top priority to then be able to get out something else that we can copy as we're attacking in uh is the main thing. We can also copy Eskis Chariot. If we turn into a creature attack in every time a new Eskis Chariot will hit the battlefield it will create two more cats and we can use those on later turns. Uh they they will exile at the end of turn whatever we don't actually get that the attack trigger from Eskis Chariot but we'll get the two cats from it toskis draw tons of cards uh Phylath could be really sweet just getting tons and tons of plants and then of course orin Clex being awesome and so that's basically the deck is that we are trying to get out delana with other good creatures create copies of them and that's sweet stuff so i've decided uh and so that's the deck let's go and dive into the gameplay see how this does for us and wish me luck here we go hey hey real quick just look in my eyes hit the subscribe button all right, let's get into the gameplay. Here we go. All right, up against Nog, and we have Magda for turn two, and then Finn after that, if we can get up to Delina. Delina? Delina. Uh, so this actually is a good hand. Okay, get out. Yep, forest, pass the turn. So yeah, Magda on turn two, attack, and no matter what, play out Delina. And then Finn. Yeah, this is kind of awkward. We're playing Finn without without any other Death Touch creatures. It is the only Death Touch creature in the entire deck. And I don't think we even have ways of giving Death Touch anything else. Deal damage. All right, they do get to kill Magda, like hardcore kill Magda. Rude. Well, all right, well, at least that's nice. All right, so get out Finn, pass the turn. All right, so when it is, I'm trying to see the other side. So flamethrower, discard a card, then draw a card. So you do end up drawing a card from it. Uh, when you discard it, so that they're trying to get certain things into the graveyard. Cool. And that's a Cody. Cool. Pass him my turn. I could play out Toski to draw cards. I have a feeling they're going to have removal here. We're, we came to do a thing. And you know what thing we're going to do? The thing we came to do. So, uh, I guess we attack in first. Get some poison counters on that boy. Delina. I'm past the turn. <laughs> I know I'm saying the name wrong, people. Okay, before all the comment sections is like, <gasps> it's okay. I get it. I'm, I'm saying it wrong. It's fine. When you cast the deck spell this turn, exile cards to the top of your library into exile and instant sorcery card with mana less value. So they cascade with spells. All 
Overhold's command, yep. Cool. Alright, so they have a way to kill Finn now. Kind of. Attack land's a little bit awkward. Um, I can Frostbite and still hit in. But I can't do that with the tap land here. Uh, so I think that it's probably better to play out Bard class, Frostbite, Toski on the next turn. Just to keep the keep the poison counters going. Now that Delina is gone, this is our best thing we can be doing. Here they go again. Yeah, lots and lots of removal is the only way to make that good enough. So if I pay the bard class, I need to hit a land. If, then I could pay the bard class ability and be able to still play both these. Of course, I'd be able to do that regardless. But now it's worthwhile. Play out Finn. Play out Toski. Pass the turn. Dude, I like this music, by the way. I just don't, I wanted to say that because I don't usually. It's good stuff. All right, I guess I discard something. Hits for tons of damages. Doesn't use the mana for the Cody. I feel like even if you just use that to play this, I, I hmm, interesting. Oh, foretells. Ah, oh. no. Oh, that's not good. Okay, attack in. All right, well, let's go ahead and buff that up. Play out a mountain, pass the turn. Yeah, now we're in trouble. We're going to die to a Cody deck. We had all of the pieces. We had all of them, but they just had only targeted removal in their hand. Like, that's the only things they've cast besides Cody. Auron's Epiphany, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cool stuff there, bro. Yeah, we're, we're in, like, all sorts of trouble now. Laurel's Command gives haste to everything, hits in, like, a crazy pants person, down to eight, and they have lethal on board. Good game, sir. Well, we drew everything. Were they not going to attack him with everything? Come on, you have exactly lethal there. Just do it. Arbyn's Dosas, and this is a pretty awful hand. I want to keep it. I'm just kidding. All right, we'll get that one away. Oh my gosh, man. Who can draw worse hands than Jeff? I, I want to know. I challenge you guys to a worse hand duel. Um... Do we keep Finn or do we keep S's Chariot because it's an actual good thing to play on turn three? If we're trying to win games, we keep S's Chariot. So I, I think that's what we do. We are trying to win games, even though we're trying to make Finn work. We still have to find Delina and Bard classes and things like that along the way. So we're going to play the Bard class version of this deck for this one. And by that, I mean, we're going to play Prosperous Innkeeper because it's the best card ever. And it's his chariot, because it's also a really good card. Ooh, man, they're getting frisky. They looked at our forest and they're like, well, I'm going to play an island. It took him like 40 seconds to do it like a real blue player. Oh, don't have a counter spell. Well, speed is... The only thing that's going to be good for us here, so... No! Yeah. I saw it coming, even though they didn't have one.
man. And now a mulligan to five makes things really difficult. If we can't play the first spell. Yay. Like that's actually probably the one of the worst things about counter spells in my my opinion is it's so much more painful when people mulligan down to five cards or whatever. And so it just makes those kinds of things less fun. Okay, play out Tusky. We can at least pay for the disruption. That's a that's a good thing. Divide by zero. Cool. Oh man. Do I want to stay in this game? I just get bored with these kinds of games so fast. I don't know about you guys, but that's kind of where I'm at with this. Where it's just like, we're doing that thing. That's the thing that we're doing. All right, we'll kill Lolf. I don't think we kill the spiders. We get rid of the, the dude. Bard class. Toski. Gain some life. Do not attack. Pass the turn. Shadow's Verdict. Uh, you didn't go for the introduction to Annihilation? Okay. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, I mean, we're not going to draw anything worthwhile, but you should have done that. Um, let's actually level this up twice instead of playing out Sentinel. Having hasty creatures seems legit, like really good for this kind of matchup. You're going to let us draw more cards? Thank you. Now we have a chance of having more creatures. Of course, we're going to draw all lands. All right, that's better. Okay, Finn, do I play out Sentinel? Like if they have another Shadows Verdict, which they, they played that out one pretty quickly. Um, I have a feeling they have another one, so we're just going to hit in with just this. It's a win con by itself, so good enough. Pass the turn. Five hits and you're done. Can you find an answer in five turns? <gasps> no way. I guess I should have played that out as an answer for that. Oh, well. Instrument of the Bards. Actually pretty sweet stuff. Okay, uh, search your library for each card with mana value equal to the number of harmony counters. So harmony counters are what matters here, but we can find a Finn over and over and potentially a Delina before too long as well. Down to 14. Pass the turn. take action put the counter on no deck like this is the turn i have to be finding something decent um for a creature card with mana value so it i can find uh, a one drop creature so another another jasper sentinel which is worthwhile Just because it creates a clock. I know it's not like a great clock or anything like that, but as far as clocks go, I've seen better clocks, you know? Crippling Fear. Yeah, if I can get them to use those kinds of things quicker. Gargoyle, yes. This guy has an imagination instead of just using Assembly Worker. Take action. Bard class. Okay, I'm one mana shy of being able to play Bard class and this so let's just go ahead and go for finn i suppose is it the last finn in the deck is that worth it The Tognar is a little bit interesting too. Ooh, I forgot about that. All right, let's 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 go for Bard class then. Bard class. Goes for Sot coming on that. Play out Finn. Uh, 
rude um i think we actually decline and keep playing finding two drops because right now we can actually find them or we can find them and play them on the same turn we don't have another fin to grab um which means that game plan's gone <laughs> didn't we have three of them do i only have two i swear i had three of those well maybe it only shows one of them so let's uh yeah let's decline magda cool Okay, activate ability. I can find a Prosperous Innkeeper and that lets me play out it and Magda hit for three. We do have another Finn. Uh, let's let's go for something different. Uh, so yeah, play this out first. Yeah, you'd be able to get the treasure from that is actually really sweet. <laughs> All right, hit in for four. If they have a shot as a verdict, we're in trouble. Okay, one card left. Things are shaping up. Down to nine. I want them to use as much removal before we grab another fin. Um, yeah, this is fun. All right, I was saying I was getting bored, but now that's really fun. Uh, cool thing we could have done there is uh hit a land and double this twice and that would have been eight damage yeah two to four four to eight so not quite lethal actually if we did it beforehand it would get the buff one it would be exactly nine so if we hit a land off the top i want to know if i hit a land off the top oh well good game all right up against sebastian and keep this hand this is a beautiful hand i mean another land would be great but we have ramp on turn one kind of into bard class which is the ultimate ramp oh wow wow okay then <laughs> cool stuff just the best possible start i think you could ever have bard class and then have delina or eska's chariot or whatever thing you would want All right, do they have the disruption is the question. <sighs> we have the ability to go for this this turn and still play out Delina or Chariot. If they have a, a disruption or a counter spell for this, I'm going to be so angry. Copying Magda is actually a really good thing to copy because it buffs it up, self up with each one. Um, unfortunately, we wouldn't be able to get. That is dumb. That is dumb. I hate you. I hate you always and forever. You're the worst person in the world. In case you didn't know. Okay. 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 That's cool. Drew a lot of art classes. That's great. They do stack up nicely, kind of. All right, we got a chariot. Chariots online. That's a great thing. Um, I can cast another bard class. I think it's worth going for. So swinging with only Magda. Get in for the damages. Um, bard class. Number dose. They want to counter this. Sure. That'd be great. Dude, stinking disruption has gotten me way too many times. And I know I play right into it, but there's always the chance they don't have it. I'm not sure like how many of these people typically play. You know, it's not it's got to not be too often. But then I'm always wrong every time all right these guys don't have haste bonus keeps it up yeah i was thinking that one through a little bit uh <laughs> finn is pretty sweet i i do like finn um i was debating if i want to play out like bard class again and then finn have a bunch of counters come onto it uh i was i was thinking of the barbarian class again that we would have a chance for haste but not so not so 
Champion's Blue Vein and good hand. Bard class on turn two is always a good hand. Play that out past the turn. Getting Finn up to four toughness is pretty sweet stuff as well. Bard class past the turn. All right, so we have an interesting option. If I activate Bard class, I can't play as many things on this next turn. The ramp is super nice. But I get to play out Barbarian class and Finn on the same turn. Do I actually need to play out Barbarian? I'd rather have everything else be cheaper. So yeah, play out Barbarian class. I should have played out Faceless Haven. That was a misplay. Had that online. I'm not going to use it in the next turn, most likely. But still. All right, Fertel, uh, that's a Doom Scar. It's a Doom Scar if I've ever seen one. It is pretty sweet that Phylath is only like a little bit here. Three damage to any target and burn. Yeah, Doom Scar with burn. I believe. So. SS Chariot dodges that as best it can. So yeah, SS Chariot. Let's go Barbarian class. I want to get haste. If they're going to be playing somewhat controlly, then we need to uh, we need to get that haste going. Down to 19, 18 and pass the turn. And then we also have Faceless Haven, so we can even activate SS Chariot that way. Well, we can also just hit with the Faceless Haven, you know. Revealing a dragon, cool. Okay, it wasn't a Doom Scar. That's actually a very good thing for us. By very, I mean that's it's all right. All right. Um, we didn't hit a land. I'm gonna hold off on playing Phyleth until we have a land. Um, I do want to get up to haste sooner than later. Um, this is our best line is faceless haven. Activate. Attack in with it and then play Magda. Down to 14 Magda. Play out the innkeeper would be nice just to get some extra ramp. But we have to hit lands at some point. It's fine. Getting out of 5-5 five, five, or 6-6 six, six would be pretty legit too. We do need to do that at some point. Reduce the memory is something that's going to hit at some point here too. Professor. Come on, land. There we go. So play out Phylath. Play land. Get the counter onto it now. Um, tap this one down. Tack in. Do I want to let them trade off here? No. That would just be dumb. Okay, pass turn. Does this one have a border and these ones don't? Interesting. So the copies are not as cool <laughs> because it doesn't actually have. So yeah, because this is uh, the different mode of going borderless or whatever. So it makes plant tokens that are borderless. But because Asclis' chariot is not borderless, it makes the bordered plant tokens. Interesting. It's for four. So they have mascot exhibition online now. Um, I, I probably should have played up Prosperous Innkeeper first and not got the four counters here simply because we would have gained so much life. I, I didn't even think about the life gain part of that plan, but that probably would have been better. Frostbite.
I can take this entire turn and give haste to whatever I play next. Um, Prosperous Innkeeper. I think that going for Frostbite makes a lot of sense here. We can activate this and this. What do I hit? So tap those guys down. I'm okay trading off the Eskis Chariot here. That's fine. Um, what do I actually kill here? We swing in with these two guys. They trade off with Eskis Chariot for sure. Let's just wait. Let's see what they've got. I think I should have made a copy of a treasure token. Oops, I forgot I could do that. Treasure token would have been sweet. Yeah, blocks there. We knew that was coming. It's fine. The skull to my dragon is annoying. We have to gain life fast enough for it to be worthwhile. Okay. Activate this. Don't use Frostbite. I, I think they're trying to, to speed up the clock here with that. And so I think we do go ahead and kill this now. Pass the turn. Um, unless they have board wipe, we should be able to win. If we could hit a land, that would be great. We have Faceless Haven online. We have enough treasures to be in good shape. Um, we, we should, because of Bard class, have enough to give something haste and then play it. The only thing we can draw that's a complete dead draw is Magda or more of these fellas. Okay, he gets a treasure. Down to six. Uh, a crush the weak would be pretty annoying here. It does hurt us a lot. Burning hands, nice. Dude, that's a good card. Kills so many things. Not using reduce the memory. I do feel like killing this would have been better. Oh, that was the other dead draw. Lands. All right, so attack in. We did treasure token. This is a dwarf, so Magda gives it the plus one. Okay, Lord holds command. And they gain three life. So there's a three, two bug bear comes and we have enough blockers that we're fine. Luckily, I didn't swing in with those plants. I forgot about the three, two. All right, they can block there. Uh, trading off is actually fine with us. Kind of. Um, I have a higher chance of being able to do that later. Let's let's go ahead and just spend all of the mana for this. Yes. Wow. Wow. Man, what a sequence of amazing draws. Oh, man. I hate when your deck is doing everything right until it's just not. And then it's just like, ah, nah, I just, <laughs> we're done here. Let's let them draw all the things. 
Yay. I begin to myth of the ages and keep this hand. I like it. Barbarian class pass the turn. All right, so we got Delina coming soonish. Play out Magda, pass the turn. Okay, Faceless Haven. Attack in. Rude. Cool. Go Magda again. Pass the turn. It would have been nice to try to get up to the level three or at least get a little bit closer there on that turn. I don't think we play Finn unless it has haste against a controlly deck. Um, in fact, do we just we do we just hit in with Faceless Haven? It feels like a sot coming. Sure. I mean, that's seven points of damage because of the Magda. Um, oh, right. And I also can uh, add mana there. Makes a treasure because it's a dwarf. Dude, face the saving with Magda. Why didn't I ever do that before? It's brilliant. Brilliant, I say. Um, should I go for Finn? Or should I just level up here? Let's just level up. I, I don't think I need to show off Finn yet. We have seven power on the board, which means that we do have, um, I guess not quite lethal in two turns. It's fine. It's fine. Giving things haste seems legit, though. All right, activate that. Attack in. I think I'm just going to give it haste on this next turn. Wait for them to ever tap out. And with how much damage we're doing, we should be fine. Down to eight. All right, pass the turn. Build the multiverse. Dude, Faceless Haven and Magda? What? I like it. And we have enough mana for a Delina, a Finn, and a Barbarian class, I do believe. Even if they board wipe. Which is actually the best possible thing. Yeah, Magda and Faceless Haven is so fun. That is way cool. Turns into a dwarf. It's a 5-3 and can tap for mana. Cool stuff. All right, Flunk. Doesn't use that on Faceless Haven. Intriguing. All right. Um... Prosperous Innkeeper. Do I use the treasures now for the fin? Yeah, we do. The fin. Activate here. Attack in for six. Fortunately, we don't actually have a way to roll. So I, I feel like they're going to have a way to kill Faceless Haven. Bill for Mastery. All right, that's fine. I was hoping that as, as long, at least if they had Flunk, we had enough creatures out to... Or uh, I guess I needed to play one more thing. If I played Barbarian Class, Flunk would have killed it. But they had a different removal spell anyway. Down to six. 
All right, and now with haste, our top decks become way better. All right, makes a dog cool. Apparently, I can create your doom in dog form. All right, kill that. Um. Oh man, I'm so close to being able to buff here and win. Play another the Barbarian class and pass the turn. So down to one. It should be really difficult for them to actually beat us, beat us here. Crippling Fear is good. Uh, that's annoying. Well, frostbite, kill here. Okay, counters there. That's actually somewhat good for us. <sighs> Force him to trade off with the dog. Is that actually worthwhile? Do I play out the fin until I actually know I can get in for the damage? I don't think so. So let's pass the turn. The entire it's a lot of damage. My Dude, I don't know why we just can't draw good enough in these last couple of turns. It's impossible. And we can't find another Delina. By the way, Delina, the number one card that we have, would be nice to have more of. Do this first. If they have a bounce spell, it's annoying. Flunk. Is it minus the number of cards you have in hand? Oh, right. Yeah, so they have us. Or close to. Pass the turn. Two to the bottom. So they're looking for another spell here. Uh, they do have Hall of the Storm Giants, I think, is online. So I, I believe we are dead. I'm going to make them have to do it. Man, I, I swear, the last, like, we just can't draw well enough in the late game the game like there's so many good cards we could have drawn there Asuka's chariot is just straight win like they can't do much about it unless they had a counter spell I guess but uh, we have the cards in our deck cannot find them it happened again one of the only four of in our deck we only have two four of besides lands and that is Delina and Bard class and we found one Delina in five games. Guys, I'm just, I don't understand it. This happens to me so often that it is just infuriating. Like I am so angry about not being able to draw the cards that I build the deck around. And it's, man, it is very frustrating, really hard to do. I, I've been having actually a lot of hard times uh, with motivation. I, I just want to come clean with this. So those that make it to the end, you guys are usually the more true fans. So things are coming. So this is a little extra for you guys. Uh, I, what I've been facing right now is um, boredom. And I know it's a really weak thing to be facing that shouldn't be too big of a deal. We'll open packs where we're talking about this. Um, boredom to the level of you've been like you're asked to eat uh like, like you go out to a store and you're trying to eat like the biggest burger of all time type of thing and I, I feel like for me that's what youtube is to an extent like you just eat and eat and eat and eat and eat and if you finish it then you get this great reward of not having to pay for everything but at some point halfway through the the meal you're just like you can't eat any more of it and that's kind of where i'm at with with magic a little bit right now 
uh, not not so much that. I think it's more YouTube in general, and like, and uh, I just like I know I need a break, but I don't know how to take it. I don't know how to actually take a, a break with this kind of thing because making a video every day is what matters. Like it's it's the most important thing, and I love making videos every day, but also I just get really annoyed with the boring games. Like we would face up against the same exact deck three times today, uh, and it's just it gets really boring and it makes it even more difficult to take another bite and do it again. Um, and I know that that's a, a weak excuse unless you've made 2000 videos like, or so I, I've made with this channel 1,100 and like, uh, 15, I think that I've posted on this channel. And it's not including the ones I've taken down. It's not including all the extra ones that I've, I've probably done another 200 for that, for this channel. And then with other channels, I've made, um, another 2,500 videos at, at least over the, over the five years or three years before that. Uh, and so I, I'm just hitting a, a level of like, I've taken lots of extra bites and to an extent I'm just getting, Oh, it's getting really difficult to keep taking bites uh, of this thing that I've been doing for forever. And I know I need a break of some sort, uh, for mental health reasons. And I'm not sure the best way to take that because the way to do mad YouTube, the way to do YouTube is to make a video every single day. And it's so annoying that that is a hard thing to do, <laughs> even though it shouldn't be. Anyway, that's where I'm at, guys. Not drawing Delina, the one card I built the deck around in five games. I drew it one time in five games, and it died immediately. Like, that is... I. It's annoying to me that I'm going to post this video like that, but I have 30 minutes to get this one done, so I'm going to do it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, subscribe. Bye.